twirl with me. <laughs> the twirl. <laughs> um, you know, performing with the Rolling Stones, I, I really, it just was everything that you would think it would be, but also but better. It just, because, you know, they've been, they've been in this, on this huge heroic pedestal for me for so long, and you, you walk into a situation like that and you don't know what to expect, and having experienced that last week, they're now at an even higher level of hero status for me, mostly because of their attitude, because of their hospitality, because, you know, they hand write notes thanking you for being there, because you get to get pictures with them and hang out with them, and um, I think one of my favorite moments of the whole thing was when um, uh, the musical director and Mick and I were all rehearsing the song in a dressing room with a piano and we were just kind of goofing around and we started dancing like waltz like you know over exaggerated ballet moves and um, and then we started twirling around the room and it was hilarious because we forgot the words and we just started laughing and we ended up incorporating a twirl into the performance, I think in homage to the hilarious musical rehearsal that we had that day. Very excited to see the Red Tour when it comes here in Nashville in September. Uh, but noticing uh, what you did last night with Red and for previous performances with I Knew You Were Troubled, there's the drama that you've always had in your live performances, but there's a sense of refinement now. It seems like you're also doing that with a new Taylor perfume, which is a little more, you know, a little even. refined, I think. Just, I'm just wondering where your headspace is with like what you're presenting um, with your live performances and with your perfume about how, you know, you're presenting yourself these days. I like the way your hair is now. I like to grow it out. Thanks. Um, <laughs> so, uh, I, think, I think for me it's always been a really high priority. Having started this whole process when I was 16, putting out my first album, I, I got a lot of questions early on of like, are you going to grow up too fast? Are you going to be a train wreck? What's going to happen? And what I kind of gathered from all that is that it's really important to grow up as you are the age that you are. Just for me personally, that's a priority. So I feel like when I was 18, I was 18. And when I was 20, I was 20. And now I'm 23. And I'm just trying to kind of live my best version of being 23. And to me, that is expanding your horizons, challenging yourself musically, um, thinking outside the box for performances in ways you haven't before. Um, rehearse, 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 play lots of shows, and try your best to be better than you've been before. So, wish me luck. <laughs> <laughs> um, all the way back. Okay. Yes. Okay. You just released a very, very charming video uh, with your duet with uh, Ed Sheeran. Those kids look so much like both of you. Did you have, <laughs> did you have a hand in taking them out? We did, actually. Thank you for watching it. Um, you know, I think for me, Ed and I just kind of looked at a laptop of videos of kids, and it was very clear, that one, that one. And they were so adorable. And um, I think that's one of my favorite videos I've ever been a part of, <coughs> just because those kids are so good. Um, we did a music video for the duet that I did with Ed Sheeran, and um, we basically cast like um, seven-year-old versions of ourselves. And it's cute. You should watch it. Last question. And then, yes. You. Are you starting to write new songs on the road again? Getting ahead, thinking about a new album already? Yeah, it's it's starting. All the anxiety is starting, and when the anxiety starts, then the writing happens right afterward usually. Um, so yeah, I I basically. I like to I like to write for about two years before I'm finished with an album because I at this point I kind of know that whatever I write in the first year is going to get thrown away because I'm going to like it but it's going to sound a little bit like the last project I had and then the second year usually ends up sounding like the next project. So I think at this point at this point I feel like staying the same is, is the easy way to go but it's not the way that I want to go creatively. I think you need to challenge yourself. I think you need to change up your influences. I think you need to be inspired by different things than you've been inspired by before. And, um, you know, it's, it's harder to call up people you don't know and work with them for the first time. And it's harder to think of topics you haven't covered and think of new ways to say old emotions um, that everyone feels. But that's the goal at this point. And um, I really, I think one of the things that I'm happiest with in the last year is 
the acceptance level in country music for me experimenting and for me trying to evolve and challenge myself musically. Um, because I, I think it's never felt better to be on that stadium stage performing, knowing that everyone's been so welcoming of change. We're going to stop for photos real quick.